so we are going to solve question number 13 of wasi 2021 core mathematics paper 2 we are going to solve question number 13a and then 13b let's start off with question 13a a function g is defined on the set of real numbers r by g of x equals 1 plus 3x over x minus 1 where x is not equal to 1 find the i image of negative 1 under the function g i i the value of x for which g of x is equal to 7 and i i i the value of g of negative 3 so let's solve this question i we are going to find the image of negative 1 under the function g so what this primarily means is that we are going to substitute negative 1 in place of x in this function now we have the function g of x is equal to 1 plus 3x over x minus 1 where x is not equal to 1 now if you are supposed to find the image of negative 1 under the function then we say that g of negative 1 is equal to 1 plus 3 times negative 1 over negative 1 minus 1. So basically, wherever we see x, we are going to replace that with negative 1. Okay. So this becomes 1. Now 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. So 1 minus 3 over negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. So this becomes 1 minus 3 is negative 2 over negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 goes into itself once, into negative 2 once, 1 over 1 is still 1. So we have g of negative 1 to be 1. So let's solve for i i. The value of x for which g of x is 7. So if g of x is equal to 7, we are going to find the value of x. So we have g of x to be 1 plus 3x over x minus 1. And we are told that this function is equal to 7. Now let's solve for x. So we have 1 plus 3x over x minus 1 equals 7 over 1. We are going to cross multiply. So that is going to be, we have 1 times 1 plus 3x, which is still 1 plus 3x equals 7 times x minus 1. We are going to expand. So 7 times x is 7x. 7 times negative 1 is negative 7. Let's transpose 7x to the left hand side. So we have 3x minus 7x equals negative 7 minus 1. 3x minus 7x is negative 4x equals negative 8. We divide through by negative 4 by negative 4 and then we have x equals 2 so the value of x is equal to 2 the value of x when g of x is 7 is equal to 2 now let's find the value of g of negative 3 so we have g of x equals 1 plus 3x over x minus 1 where x is not equal to 1 and we are supposed to find the value of j of negative 3 so like we did for i wherever we see x in this function we are going to replace that with negative 3 so this is equal to 1 plus 3 times negative 3 over negative 3 minus 1 
Now 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. So 1 minus 9 over negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. 1 minus 9 is negative 8 over negative 4. Negative 4 goes into itself once into negative 8 two times. So we have g of negative 3 equals 2. Now let's move on to the b part. So for question 13b, the sum of the first 10 terms of an AP is 120. If the fifth term is 6 less than the eighth term, find the i common difference ii, the first term. So we are told that the sum of the first 10 terms of an AP is 120. Now we know that the sum of the first n terms of an AP is given by Sn equals n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. This is the sum of the first n terms of an AP. So the sum of the first 10 terms of this AP is 120. So it means that S10 equals 10 over 2 times 2a plus 10 minus 1 times d this is equal to 120 okay we have the value of n to be 10 now let's simplify this so this becomes 120 equals 10 divided by 2 is 5 so 5 times 2a plus 10 minus 1 is 9, so plus 9d. Now we can divide through by 5. 120 divided by 5 is 24. So 24 equals 2a plus 9d. Let's call this equation 1. And again, we are told that the fifth term is 6 less than the eighth term okay the fifth term is six less than the eighth term now we know that the general term of an ap is giving us un equals a plus n minus one times d okay so we have the fifth term which is u5 equals a plus five minus one is 4 so 4d and then the eighth term u8 equals a plus 8 minus 1 is 7 so 7d so this is the fifth and the eighth term respectively now we are told that the fifth term is 6 less than the eighth term okay the fifth term is 6 less than the eighth term so the fifth term is 6 less than the eighth term so it means that u5 is equal to u8 minus 6. now let's call this equation 2. now we are going to substitute u5 equals a plus 4d and then u8 equals a plus 7d into equation 2. so that's going to be a plus 4d equals a plus 7d minus 6 so this becomes a minus a plus 4d equals 7d minus 6 so a minus a is 0 we have 4d equals 7d minus 6 let's transpose 7d to the left hand side so that becomes 4d minus 7d equals negative 6 now 4d minus 7d is 3d sorry negative 3d and that is equal to negative 6 we divide through by negative 3 and then we have the value of d to be 2 so d is equal to 2 that is the common difference so let's solve for ii for ii we are supposed to find the first term now back to equation 1, 
we have equation 1 to be 24 equals 2a plus 9d now since we have the value of d to be 2 we are going to find the value of a which is the first thing so from equation 1 from equation 1 24 equals 2a plus 9 times d d is 2 so 24 minus 9 times 2 is 18 so minus 18 equals 2a 24 minus 18 is 6 equals 2a we divide through by 2 and then we have the value of a to be 3 so the common difference is 2 the first term is 3